you're at UC Davis at Veg Crops, um, the greenhouses that UC Davis has let us use um, in collaboration to understand spectral science. We have a greenhouse here and we also have been using a greenhouse identical to this one next door. And our experiments so far have been centered around growing high wire tomatoes, high wire cucumbers, lettuce, spinach, and zinnia. Um, looking at different light intensities, different light ratios, and comparing them also to traditional high pressure sodium lighting. We're back again at the UC Davis Veg Crops greenhouse, and this is another little bit of work that's being done by a high school student here in the area. We like to work with high school students, get them excited about agriculture. So the project that she's doing, which we look towards her um, presenting this in state competition, is using different uh, wavelengths of light to see how they will affect lettuce. So in this case she's using red, blue, and white light to see how it will affect the maturation of a red lettuce. This, In this case it's red solace. So these young lettuce plants, just a um, couple of weeks old, um, already we're seeing a color development in the red lettuce. It's much greater under the blue light in contrast to the white light. Um, the blue light that they're providing here of the 150 micromoles that we're getting here midday in October is really only about mm, 10 to 20. So a very low percentage of blue light is needed to get this color manifestation.